All right. Election day. You voted with your feet, so thank you for being here. Um, we're talking cloud native. Cloud native is winning. Um, now I just I just wanted to to really say thank you. This is this is a fun event um, because we're finally bringing together uh, Kubernetes, uh, CNCF, and really helping these communities grow together. Quickly talk about what Red Hat is doing uh, to make. Kubernetes enterprise ready with our product OpenShift. <clears throat> All right, so we worked together with an analyst firm and um, talked to a bunch of different IT leaders across the industry to understand what were their top concerns with adopting containers. And <clears throat> interestingly enough, the top concerns are all the most important things in your IT infrastructure. It's security, it's scalability, uh, it's manageability. Uh, so you could sort of take away from this that this is not a very interesting uh, set of statistics or, or feedback. But I think what it really points to is there are some real concerns. And when you get to the enterprise, um, they're looking at transforming their business and what does it mean to take on new technologies? What's the risk associated with that? And what's the benefit associated with that? So when you look at something like security, that's really helping uh, the enterprise understand uh, what the security challenges are within the container landscape. When you look at performance and scalability, it's talking about a single container isn't really enough, so you need some kind of an orchestration platform, enter Kubernetes. So if you look at what, what we're building with, with OpenShift, our focus is on bringing containers to the enterprise and bringing containers to the enterprise starting with a trusted base, a trusted host environment, uh, for us, that's Red Hat Enterprise Linux, something that our customers have been working uh, with for, for years, uh, well over a decade. It's also about comprehensive security. So it's not just the host, but it's build your image, understand when your image has vulnerabilities or not. So image scanning, it's connectivity across the different portions of your application so that you can define security policy around how the application is communicating uh, internally and externally. and so. You know, the, the security story is really top of mind to, to the IT leaders across the industry. But the business agility component is really important as well. So this is about building your apps and delivering it quickly. And with OpenShift, we provide sort of a, an, an integrated CI CD pipeline so you can quickly go from a source, uh, from your source code repository to an image uh, without a lot of effort, without becoming an expert in, in image building, if that's important to you. And of course, we're trying to deploy these systems and, and operate at scale. So again, something like Kubernetes at the core, helping us scale out the application is, is critical. This is the stack for us, and it helps this, this combined stack of, of a well-understood Linux base, a, a Kubernetes and, and container-based core, and then for many of our customers, this would include uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux-based applications as well. This is this platform that brings together key different uh, people in the, in the IT groups and development groups within an organization. We think of it almost like a communication medium so that you can bring developers together with subject matter experts who are developing, say, um, key, uh, key images or stacks or deployment uh, mechanisms that make sense for your enterprise and bringing together those experts with the IT operations team so that they're understanding uh, from an application point of view, you can sort of request the right type of application, um, the infrastructure for the application, which is something that's really new in the industry. We've been trying to do this for years, and at this point, we finally have the right level of automation and tooling to, to, to realize this, which is great. Um, true to, to what we do at Red Hat, this really starts with the community. So we just heard a great discussion around the community specific to Kubernetes. Um, starts with the community, and we build this up through our direct relationships with our enterprise customers across a number of different business verticals, which when you talk about diversity in a, in a community, it's not just the people, but it's also the use cases. And, and we're really trying to solve a wide variety of use cases to make the platform most valuable. Um, the, you know, the more we bring different diverse use cases together, the better we will make this platform overall. And I think from our point of view, it's important to note that this isn't just sort of fantasy and um, next generation technology, but it's really real. It's today, and we have many uh, customers putting this into production 
already and realizing the value. Uh, one quick point here was uh, an interesting point from an analyst saying the most strategic decision a CIO can make is the, this application runtime environment, independent of the underlying infrastructure that it's running on. Uh, embedded in that idea is that it's really important to be able to run your application portable, uh, as you heard from Sam, portable across a number of different infrastructures. And when you talk to the enterprise, you can't just say containers and it's magic and everybody's happy. You really have to explain some value and, and show them how they're going to, uh, how this investment in new technology is going to improve their business. Uh, so that's a bunch of the numbers up here. And then when we're talking with our customers, we're looking at how we help them evolve to use the container uh, platform. And there's a number of different ways you can do this that range in, in, in time and complexity and, and cost. Certainly, net new applications built as cloud native are, are a natural fit. Uh, but we also work with customers that lift and shift existing applications onto this platform uh, and do some kind of integration with the existing applications uh, through a, sort of additional layers of abstraction. So a number of different ways that we can onboard uh, applications or integrate with the existing kind of brownfield environments that are true and real in, in all enterprises today. So important for us always at Red Hat is thinking about our customers and the places they deploy their applications and it's spread across uh, bare metal, virtualization, internal private cloud, external public cloud, and multiple public cloud providers. That's the reality for the enterprise today, and that's something that with Kubernetes and a platform for us like OpenShift, we're really able to help our customers build their next generation infrastructure, evolve their processes, evolve their infrastructure, and evolve their applications to take advantage of all the great technology that we're building here together as a community. So uh, thank you very much. This is gonna be an exciting couple of days, and uh, look forward to talking with you in the hallway.